We are here at Sebring Expo and we've got an airplane we've not seen here before. Some Somebody came up to me and said, this looks like a yak and gave me a number and said, but I don't think it is. And I said, no, I don't think it is either. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm speaking today with Thierry Zeeby, but we'll just call him Terry because that's easier on American. So Terry of Sam hey. Aircraft hey. and we'll give his uh, web address and all that stuff later. But. What have you got here, Terry? Well, we have our latest uh, aircraft, uh, the SAM LS, and we began uh, the project five years ago, and uh, now uh, we are beginning the test flight, and uh, it's an, uh, a light sport aircraft here in Canada, in the US, and the ultralight aircraft in Canada. We are based in uh, Canada, and that's our uh, uh, all aluminum tandem uh, low wing aircraft. Now you came here, I saw probably two or three years ago, Terry, and you had some drawings and some ideas and you were asking for feedback. You said, exactly. tell me how you want this airplane to be. Here's the basics, tell me how you want it. What did that do for you, asking people for their input? Well, it did a lot of good things because I asked questions to almost everybody I knew and uh, and uh, all of people giving me a good uh, feedback and uh, then uh, we, we design an aircraft for pilots and I'm a pilot myself so uh, everything has been done uh, to make it uh, safe pleasant to fly and have uh, fun now it's a tandem seater therefore mm -hmm. one and back of the other yep. uh, I didn't sit in the back seat but I sat in the front and there is a, a lot of room in there and mm -hmm. one thing I really like there's a lot of leg room in there exactly. uh, but the airplane has some uh, very uh, for me they were great and it fit fine some armrests mm -hmm. you said that that can be accommodating for people of uh, larger sizes than perhaps myself or yourself yes uh, the, the, the pilot sit in front and we have a leather seat and leather armrest and uh, very comfortable for people like us but for people bigger we can take out the armrest so there is even more room but there is 26 uh, inch wide uh, in uh, in this aircraft yeah now we all we always hear about uh, inch wide in uh, in in uh, conventional side by side seating and a big number there is 45 to 50 inches or something mm -hmm. but that number for a tandem is actually quite wide yeah. and i can attest to that so uh, right now, to make that kind of a change, it would be something you'd do as a kit, and I heard you told another gentleman about the kit price in mm -hmm. the 30s. Well, we don't need to have a price now because mm -hmm. this video will be around for a while, but it's in the 30s before engine and before instruments and yep. finish work, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But are you also going to make it as a ready to fly? Yes, uh, it's going to be ready to fly and in kit, and uh, it's going to be advanced ultralight aircraft in Canada. Okay. And it's almost the same regulation for the LSA. Yes, yeah, very we, similar. So. And we design it the same aircraft for both regulation. So we are doing the uh, certification in Canada right now, and we will do it in uh, in uh, the U.S. Uh, soon. Okay, so let's put some uh, times on this. You've been mm -hmm. working on this for five years. Yep. You've now got a very handsome looking airplane that's strikingly different than everything else we've seen in this mm -hmm. uh, market. You'll be one of the new entrants when you're all done with your LSA certification, mm -hmm. or approval, I should say. But what's what's some timelines? When, do you, when will you fly? Have you flown yet? Not yet. Okay, so when will you fly? And then based, if, if that all goes well, when might you mm -hmm. be in manufacturing? Well, we began the flight tests uh, we did the taxi, the high-speed taxi, and after that we had to stop that and uh, polish the, alumin the aluminum and make it nice for <laughs> you Sebring. You got to do a lot of polishing so here, so. And it takes a lot, a lot of time. <laughs> and uh, so after Sebring, we come back uh, to Montreal and we, we fly test the aircraft. Uh, and uh, in uh, a couple of months, it will uh, have uh, this, we'll discover the flight envelopes and uh, uh, doing the certification in Canada. And uh, I will say uh, uh, we will launch the production afterward uh, in kit and uh, ready to fly. So Everything with uh, SolidWorks uh, uh, ah, and okay. all the calculations are on the computer. So uh, uh, all the data are here and uh, we began the, the certification in Canada. And uh, uh, this is our prototype and uh, he, he wants so well to build it. All the, the holes have been pre-drilled, pre and 
very, very few uh, surprises. So let's talk about a couple of points specific to mm -hmm. the airplane. First of all, what I see on the exterior is all aluminum riveted together and so yep. forth. Is there an interior structure as well? There is a, a structure in 4130 uh, welded. steel, welded okay. steel from the fire. So you got welded up. steel with aluminum uh, skin over exactly, that. Exactly, yes. And what is powering the airplane? Uh, it's a Rotax uh, 100 horsepower. Okay. We designed the aircraft. Uh, from uh, uh, an engine uh, 80 horsepower up to 130. You can operate with the 80, yes. you believe? Yes. It's, it's going to a, be minimal. It's a pretty big aircraft yeah, to be powered by 80 horsepower, <laughs> it looks like. That's why we put the 100. <laughs> sure, sure. 100, I would think, would be more than enough for you, but yeah. and that's a, the most popular engine that Rotex mm -hmm. sells. This inside, it's a stick control, uh, mm -hmm. I assume, front and rear? Yes. Okay, so joystick, rudder pedals, yep. and uh, some adjustability that. Uh, a uh, kit builder will just build in, mm -hmm. uh, but to accommodate different sizes in the manufactured version, will yes. how do you adjust the seats and pedals or the, whatever? The seats are adjustable, so okay. you can move uh, back and forth the seats. Uh, front seat and, and rear seat, the pedals are fixed. And right now you've got the uh, Dynon uh, Skyview 10 inch right in the center yep. with some uh, analog dials on each side mm -hmm. and uh, looks like a nice tidy clean installation. Thank you. Well, we've given a little bit of information here, but mm -hmm. and we can see it right on your shirt here, but we may not be able to read that on screen, although we'll add that when the production is done. But uh, tell us what the website is. It's uh, www.sam-aircraft.com. Okay, so sam-aircraft.com. Mm -hmm. I don't currently have anything on my website about it, but I will, and that'll be available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here today at Sebring. Thank you.